What's up, y'all? It's Lee Natural here, and we back with a natural hair video, okay? That's the boy, girl. Here you go. Anyways, I got my baby's cap on. Because I can't find mine, so I don't know where it's at. Girl, let me tell you. <laughs> I done had these Bantu knots in for literally two and a half weeks. Almost three weeks. I do not know why. As you can see, some of them is falling apart. My baby snatched this one out. I was like, uh uh, it's time to take these on. Ah. <laughs> like they say, a floor. It's time to take these on. Ah. But, um, yeah, as you can see, that is frizzy. Okay. I wanted to show y'all my little undercut. I have not, I just finally got some memory to show y'all. I didn't get to take pictures, but, girl, look at this. We already getting so well. Mind you, I only put the oil back there twice. Um, I'm not very consistent because like I told y'all, if y'all go check my most recent video, October wasn't really that good to me. So I was very much lacking, but back to my spunky old self and I really just need to let loose and really get consistent with my hair, okay? I am on a thick hair girl journey. Actually, I'm more so on a long hair journey, okay? I do want my hair to, I do like armpit length, okay? That's one of my favorite lengths. I love to be armpit length. So, that's what I'm working on. If not, mid-back length will actually do too. <laughs> Either one, I just like the long hair. I really love to have a lot of hair on my head, okay? Other than that, I did not do my trim yet. So, that's another thing that's kind of holding me up. But I will give y'all a little update of my hair. This is how much it has grown since I have colored it, all right? So that is a lot of color, all right? That's that's a good bit. I'm starting to keep snacking. I ain't chewed gum in a while. My children gave me some gum, some churn gum, and it's just really exciting. Yeah, so I had to get that out of my system. I do plan on doing more color. I don't know when exactly yet because I do have a color idea in mind that I want to do. So I don't want to just give up. I want to go ahead and finish my color and treat my hair with my products and just show that my oil is a very helpful oil for color treated hair and just, you know, trying to get that length retention. So I want to do the color to, you know, keep the process going and show y'all that it really does help. Other than that, we're in November now. So I'm going to be being consistent with my oil for sure. I make the oil, I sell it. I do have customers that are consistent and they results better than mine. And I'm not even consistent. They results are really good. I'm loving the results I'm seeing from my customers. Y'all gotta keep it up. Y'all gotta send me the pictures, baby. I wanna see your hair. Okay, we are going in with the Golden Growth Oil from Lee Natural. All right, this is how it looks. It has gold flakes in there. Very cute. Okay. My children aren't in the room, so. They babysitting their brother for me. It looks gold. Has a dripper. And it smells divine, okay? I'm loving this oil, okay? So we got us a new bottle to pop open. She is a beauty queen. This is the baby oil that um we have been sharing, me and my two sons. And I'm not gonna lie, not being consistent and not doing it a lot, I've been able to keep up with this bottle for about, I think it's been four months because I first started using it when we were still at the other house. So it's been less than this long with not being so consistent, but still using it every now and again. And I still got a good bit in here. So you could definitely save some oil if you are not too heavy handed. Also, if you're doing, you know, weekly oil rubs, you will definitely still have some oil, okay? I just wanted to show that. And this is the baby hair growth oil, okay? This is also the small baby hair growth oil, okay? This one is more so a golden color. Sometimes the color will differ. It could be either more reddish, it could be more orange, it could even be more golden like this. 
it kind of really depends honestly on how much rose petals if i put a little too much rose petals that's where the color really comes in if i don't really add rose petals it will be very golden like this okay now it's not always going to be this golden so i just want to give y'all a little look at it but it does come really golden i love the texture of this one so much the smell is so pretty it's just amazing so we're gonna be undoing my Vantu knots with the oil. I'm gonna be going in with my oil. I'm not gonna use the baby one. I'm gonna be going in with the adult Golden Growth oil, Hair Oil Extreme. This stuff is the bomb, okay? What I first like to do is get some of the oil and just put it on my hands. All right, I put about 10 drops to just start with touching my hair, okay? So I just first unravel like this. Okay. We got us a short bed to that going on. I just pull mine like this. Okay. Honestly, Never really had a proper way of how I take out my Bantu knots. I would just pull them down, rotate them, flip them, and then that would be it. This is one that my baby took a loose. I had about three or four that the baby took a loose. All right, so I'm gonna get some more oil for my fingers. This was also one that he took out a couple days ago. Okay, so I think I got all of my knots out. So I'm gonna take my oil and put it in some parts of my scalp. Usually when I do my Bantu knot, I do six sections. So I go in my um, either four or six sections with the oil. All right, so now I use my fingertips and massage my oil in before I unravel my bantu knots. Get a nice little rub underneath there on my undercut. This is gonna be full soon, y'all. All of this hair is gonna be right back. And I didn't even do a perfect undercut. I just cut because whenever I do straighten my hair and it's long enough back there, I wanted to have this look. I don't know how they really explain it. It's like the messy bun look that I do when I straighten my hair and like the back of my hair is like hanging. I don't know how to explain it. It's like the little baby hairs when the hair is straight and it just hangs back there. It just looks so cute to me. I can't wait to show y'all what I'm talking about because I don't think you know what I mean right now. All right, so I did that for about five minutes, as you can see. All right, it's not too frizzy still, even though these Bantu knots are really pretty much old. Shake them like this. Okay. And then you just start to separate. I grab the ends. Start at the back.
Can you see all of that new growth? Right there? I think it's been a month and a half since I dyed it. I don't think it's been two months yet. I remember I used to do my Bantu knot perfect, like my unravel. I gotta get back on my natural hair stuff. I've been doing too many of these wigs. Cause if we gonna be anything, let's be for real. I'm gonna have to watch my old Bantu knot video cause we gotta get this together. Okay, that's how I used to do it. I used to grab little pieces and separate it. Sorry mom, but the, um, the food downstairs. Okay, I'm coming. Get longer. My bantu knot's gonna be fun. Okay, that's how I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to grab them piece by piece. Okay. All right, now I already got oil on my hands, so I can grab. Now I usually get my pick. Hold on, let me get my pick. Okay, I come like this. Okay, I gotta work on my Bantu knot though. Ooh, it's soft. Okay. Girl, this the best I could do for now. So I start back practicing. But my hair feels super soft. Like, it feels, y'all see that, that little jiggle we got going on? We got us some jiggling pop, okay? And I think, I, I, I feel like I still wanna wait to straighten my hair. I don't know if I wanna do it with this color and straighten it, or if I wanna wait a little bit more and, um, you know, let it grow a little bit more and see. But I think I wanna just go ahead and do it cause that's uh, when I'm gonna do my trim. So color it, then do the other place treatment. That's what I'm thinking about. That's what I think I'm gonna do. I don't know, I might be a little confused right now. I'm not really sure. I just know I miss my hair, okay? I just miss having it, but we can do a quick little length check. Okay, this is, from my side right here that I'm checking. Okay. Ooh, girl. Mm. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's do the bag. Girl, we is. Mm -hmm. We is getting somewhere with this hair, okay? We really is. Mm. Mm. What an exciting feeling, okay? Now, if I'm, I might do me uh, four little pony puffs. I'm honestly not sure. Or I might put this up right here. Honestly, when I get my Bantu knot, I really don't be knowing how I wanna style it. I don't know. Might put me a little thing right here. Let me see. Two little bobby pins instead of the little other things I got because they're downstairs. I got these little cute little hair clips I got from Target. I use them sometimes, but 
I try to be careful with those because I really, when I'm growing my hair, I don't like to use too much of those with the little designs on them when my hair is growing because it snags at your hair a lot. And I don't feel like just dealing with all that breakage. I already clipped my nails before I even started, so. Okay. My edges. I try not to put too much tension on my edges or anything like that. And... I haven't even been doing my edges scalp massages or nothing like that. And I also have, I wanted to show y'all my hair for the ba basically the entire year, but I'm gonna wait till December. I have all of my shed hair from January, 2023 until now. So I'm gonna have all of that. I always keep all of my hair. I don't know why, I just do. I'm gonna have it and I'm gonna show it to y'all and kind of go over the little stages I had I did deal with a little bit of postpartum shedding. I lost a lot of my edges right here, but most of it has come back. Like it's pretty much grown all the way back now. And now I had even dyed and it's grown out. So it's pretty much grown back. I did deal with a lot of stress in the other house. So I did have a little bit of, I feel like stress hair loss. So I'm just gonna show y'all all of that little hair shed that I dealt with this year. And y'all just let me know what y'all think about my Bantu knot out. Okay, girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My hair is out. Oh gosh, it feels so good to just have my hair back. And this is going to get bigger. I think it's going to be bigger tomorrow. But I just want to get this video uploaded today. So I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to have a video of tomorrow's hair but i will post a picture on my community post so y'all make sure y'all be looking at my community post and y'all will see like little updates on there but hmm, it's cute i need to trim my ends though that's what we need to do so we can get a, a more clean look when it comes to these ends okay i hope y'all enjoyed the video if you haven't already girl make sure you subscribe to the channel we about to get back into this hair okay hair care, regimens. I also have another unboxing I need to do with some products that I can't wait to show y'all. I'm excited because I haven't even tried them, smelled them, or looked at them yet. I can't wait to do that unboxing. I'm so excited. So y'all stay tuned, like the video, comment down below what y'all think of the little Bantu knot. Give me some tips. Give me some little stuff y'all think I should do next time. Hold on. For my Bantu knot out. <laughs> Let me know. I got to go back and watch my little old Bantu Not Out video because I feel like I'm a rookie. I haven't had to really style my natural hair in a while. So, <sighs> y'all ain't bald head no more. I'm not bald head no more. Oh, and the streak is just so real. Okay, girl, I'm going to catch you later. Bye, girl. Make sure you like this video. I'm going to get out of y'all hair because I'm in my hair. <laughs> mm -mm. Love you. Bye.